YouTube, it's Jonathan, and today we're going to be doing a super simple, chic makeup look. This makeup look is all about defining the eyes and subtly enhancing all of the other facial features. As you can tell, I've already done my base and my brows. I'll link everything that I already have on my face in the description box for you, and let's get started. I'm going to start with my eyes. Today I'm starting with black eyeliner. This is just the Black Coal Pencil from NYC. Any generic black eyeliner will do. You can use a gel or whatever, but I prefer a traditional pencil. I'm going to start by lining my upper lash line using short dash motions. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight or perfectly defined. It can be a little bit wobbly because we're going to blend it. If you are using a traditional pencil, I like to have this really, really nice and sharp so that I can get a very thin line right into the inner corner. When you get to the outer corner, you can thicken it up just a little bit. I don't want it to be, you know, like a big fat black line, but just a little bit thicker. Now I'm going to take a pencil style brush and just start to lightly blend the edge off of that. Then I'm going back in with the pencil just at the very roots of the lashes to make sure that's nice and dark black. Next, I'm going to take my pencil and just pull it back on the eye. I don't want to create a big cat wing, but more just like a little flick. Now I'm going to take the same liner and dot just a few dots between the lashes on about the outer two-thirds or half of the lower lash line. And then using my fingertip, I'm just going to blend the edge off of that. I don't want to blend it down. I don't want to create a dark, smoky lower lash line. I just want to keep this super subtle underneath. Next, I'm going to take a single shadow from L'Oreal. This is a matte, taupey, grayish color. Most brands do a color like this. You can find a color like this in most palettes that you probably already have. And I'm going to take that on a big fluffy brush and just sort of create a wash of color across the lid and into the crease. This should be very subtle. And again, this is something you can adapt to your skin tone. So if you think more of a golden shade or a brown shade would work better for you, or even a true gray shade, go ahead and use that in this place. We just want to create a subtle wash. And then I'm going to press just a little bit more to deepen up the socket line. So I went ahead and I refined the shape of the liner a little bit with just an angled brush and just a, a touch more of the black liner. Um, I brought it out a little bit further than I had intended to, but I think that's going to play in my favor when I apply my mascara. Next I'm going to curl my lashes. And today I'm using the L'Oreal Butterfly Sculpt in Blackest Black Waterproof. And I'm going to really focus this on pushing it into the lash line to create as much definition and almost a tight line effect down there and then combing it through to the ends. Just applying whatever's left over on the brush to my lower lashes. And that is the eyes done. Like I said, it's just super subtle and defining. Next, I'm going to move on to accentuating my facial features. So I'm going to do that with a little bit of subtle contouring. Today, I'm using the Lancome Le Duo in the shade Ivoire. And I'm going to just dot a few little dots of the contour side right into the cheekbone area. And then using a Real Technique setting brush, just buff that sort of upwards. I'm not too big into contouring, so I like to keep this as natural and subtle as possible, and I think that also makes it wearable for really any occasion. Flipping to the highlight side, I'm just going to put a few dots of that right onto the top of the cheekbone and sort of pull it down onto the apple of the cheek because this highlighter is super subtle. It's not as glittery and shimmery as some of the highlighters I used in my highlighting face challenge. Um, but I think if you pull this down onto the apple of the cheek, it just provides a subtle shine. I'm also taking that across the cupid's bow. A little on the bridge of the nose. And below the brows, onto the brow bone. For a little color on the face, I'm just going to use a dusty rose colored blush from NYX. I'm keeping the placement of this quite high and fresh. I don't want to bring it too far down the face. I kind of want to bring it up and lift it. This placement, I think, is really um, uplifting for the face and kind of brings everything up and makes everything look a little bit more lively. And even though I've used a powder blush, you can still see the sheen that that highlight gives on the cheekbone. On my lips, I'm going to go ahead and use one of my favorite nudes. This is Park Avenue Princess from Tarte. You can use whatever nude suits your skin tone, whatever nude you would normally grab when you want to just throw something on that looks like your lips but a little better. 
I also really like to choose something that's really easy to touch up throughout the day and something comfortable to wear. To refine the lip shape just a little, I'm going to use a little bit of a neutral lip liner. This is from NYX as well. I have a fairly defined natural lip line, but I think just using a little pencil and just buffing it right on the edge, especially over top of the lipstick rather than underneath it, gives a very natural, um, sort of finished effect. I think my face needs just a touch more powder just through the center and right on the sides of my nose. This of course is my Chanel Le Beige, my favorite powder ever, ever. And that's me ready to go out the door. Again, I think this look is super subtle, simple, and chic, um, and appropriate for really any occasion. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the products that I used or any suggestions for future videos that you'd like to see, please go ahead and leave those in the comments box below. I do have a link to every product that I used in today's video in my description box, as well as links to all of my social media outlets. I am at John John Talks on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. There's also a link to my Facebook down there, and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click on my face now so that you can be here for all of my new video posts, and I'll see you next time. Bye!